Welcome back, everyone. This is a brief update on news from the oil market. Oil prices rose on Tuesday as members of the OPEC group remain in line with supply cuts, while at the same time expectations of lower U.S. inventories offset worries about weaker demand due to an economic slowdown. However, data from the American Petroleum Institute released late on Tuesday indicated the U.S. crude inventories increased by 1.9 million barrels in the latest week. Furthermore, analysts made a reference to Venezuela, citing the Latin American country as one of the possible reasons oil prices found support in the previous sessions. Following a power blackout on Monday, numerous electricity transmission lines were affected and suspended power at PDVSA's oil fields, upgraders and terminals. The total effect of the outage on the company's operations is unclear. According to Reuters, local electrical engineers said the current outage and the continued blackout that started since the beginning of March were caused by the absence of maintenance. Continuing with the OPEC plus front, Russian Energy Minister Alexander Novak confirmed the country is heading towards reaching its planned output cut of 228,000 barrels a day by the end of this month. Novak's comments may have boosted oil prices yesterday, yet he also stated there is a possibility for OPEC Plus Group to meet on May the 19th in Saudi Arabian city Jeddah. This could be a strategic meeting to review the targets and efficiency of the OPEC Plus Group activities. OPEC Plus Group has had significant influence on oil prices with their actions in 2019. However, Analysts are not sure whether the oil cartel is pleased with its progress so far and whether the group will intensify production cuts. On other news, South Korea officials could be taking action towards extending its allowance on Iran's petroleum exports that expires in May. It was said South Korean government representatives could visit Washington this week to discuss the matter. However, a new report by Bloomberg claims President Donald Trump's National security team is divided over whether to provide exemptions to small groups of countries buying Iranian oil. Previously, the U.S. has had a target of reducing the number of sanctions waivers to reduce Iranian oil exports significantly and below 1 million barrels of oil per day from May 2019. It is also said that the largest oil consumers like India and China may be given waivers as any oil disruption could have a significant effect on oil prices, something the U.S. does not want to manifest. The U.S. is doing everything possible to keep prices low, but also reduce Iranian oil purchases at the same time. As a conclusion, oil prices made their best quarterly gain since 2009, as the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries set the target of rebalancing supply and demand. However, The outlook for demand could be subject to change as market participants observe the U.S. and China going round for round in order to resolve their trade war. For more in-depth investigation, please refer to our written report, which also includes technical analysis. For more information and trading ideas, you can visit our webpage, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google+. This is Angelo Zitis from RNFX, wishing you solid trading.